Uh, I just received a full briefing from our emergency response teams, including FEMA and agencies that are going to be helpful in the response and recovery efforts, uh, the Department of Energy, the Department of Transportation, uh, the Department of Health, uh, Homeland Security, and the Department of uh, Health and Human Services. Uh, obviously, everybody is aware at this point that this is going to be a big and powerful storm. And all across the eastern seaboard, I think everybody is taking the appropriate preparations. Uh, I've spoken to all the governors in all these states. Uh, they have issued emergency declarations. Uh, those have been turned around quickly uh, here in the White House. Uh, we have pre-positioned assets so that uh, FEMA personnel are working closely with state and local governments. Uh, we're making sure that food and water and emergency generation uh, is available for those communities that are going to be hardest hit. We anticipate that uh, the center of the storm is going to hit landfall uh, sometime this evening. Uh, but because of the nature of this storm, we are certain that this is going to be a slow-moving process through a wide swath of the country, and millions of people are going to be affected. So the most important message that I have for the public right now is please listen to what your state and local officials are saying. Uh, when they tell you to evacuate, you need to evacuate. Do not delay. Uh, don't pause. Don't question uh, the instructions that are being given because uh, this is a serious storm and it could uh, potentially have fatal consequences if people haven't act, uh, acted quickly. Uh, the good news is, is that the governors and local officials, I think, have had a few days of preparation. There's been extraordinarily close coordination between state, federal, and local governments. And so we're confident that the assets are pre-positioned for an effective response in the aftermath of the storm.